we are going to review how to create a histogram. So it has already made our equal groups for us there, our equal intervals. So I'm going to start and look for any numbers that are in between 0 and 1. So I can see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 of them there. In between the 2 and 3, I have 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5, 1, 2, 3 of those. Between the 6 and the 7, I have 1, 2. And between 8 and 9, I have 1. So I like to go through and tick them off so when I'm done, they should all have a mark by them just to make sure that I included all of the data points. Now I notice over here, this interval is 8 through 9. Even though there were no nines included in the data set, they had to make those interval ranges equal. So they couldn't just put an eight there. They had to include eight through nine, even though there are no nines in the data point, just so that each of them I can see have two numbers included in their range. So now I just go through and, oh, did I? Nope, I was right, okay, six. So I'm going to draw my bar going up to six. Now one thing to remember in a histogram is that each of the bars are going to touch. So unlike a bar graph, a histograph touches. So to the three, this one also has three, this one has two, and this one has one. So now I can nicely see in my histograph his, here is how many miles people run every day. So the majority of people are running between zero and six miles every day. I would for sure be one of those zeros. So there you go. There is a histograph review for you.